In this video, I'm going to take a look at reacting amount calculations that involve masses of chemicals, also known as reacting mass calculations. So we're basically dealing with questions like this. So something like how many grams or kilograms or tons of a product can be made from so many grams, kilograms or tons of a reactant, or it could be the other way around where you're calculating how much reactant you need to make a certain amount of product. So the way I'm going to do it is I'll go through my method with the first example. And then once we get on to the second, third and fourth, if you want to have a go at applying it and seeing how you do. But obviously I will be going through all four examples. OK, so here's the first one. What mass of calcium oxide CaO is formed from the complete decomposition of 25 grams of calcium carbonate? And there's the equation. And we've got to give our answer to three significant figures. So the way I do this is I establish my known and unknown chemicals first. So we know the mass of the calcium carbonate. So that's my known chemical. And we want to find out the mass of calcium oxide. So that's my unknown chemical. So you'll see straight away we're not interested at all about this carbon dioxide. So the first thing I want to do is calculate the moles of known chemical. Remember, that's my calcium carbonate in this question. So that's simply just mass over MR. So that comes out at this number here. I'm keeping the full number in my calculator. I don't want to round anything because I could introduce uh, what's called a rounding error into my final answer. So full number in the calculator. That's what the dot, dot, dot stands for. Step two is we look at the ratio, the mole ratio in the balanced equation between the known and the unknown. Nice easy one, this one to start with. We've got a one to one ratio between those chemicals. So what that's telling us is that for every mole of calcium carbonate we've got, we'll make the same number of moles of calcium oxide. So we now know that that many moles of calcium oxide forms. And then the third and final part of this method, we basically answer the question. So the question was, what mass of calcium oxide? So we need to turn these moles into mass grams. So we just multiply the moles by the MR of calcium oxide, and it comes out at 14.0 grams to three significant figures. So there's the second one. If you want to have a go at that, pause the video and play on for the answers. Otherwise, just keep watching. OK, so our known chemical is the copper, because we know we've got 8 grams of it. So the moles of copper, mass over MR, that many moles, calculated value. Now, some people might have doubled there. That's a mistake using this method. We're going to factor that 2 in, in the ratio step. So the ratio is telling us that for every mole of copper, we need half as many moles of sulphur to react with it. So if we've got this many moles of copper we need that divided by two moles of sulphur, which gives us that calculator value there. So the mass of sulphur, moles times MR, 2.02 grams to three significant figures. There's number three. So again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So step one, moles of iron oxide, it's 1,000 grams, can't work in kilograms um, for mole calculations. So it's 1,000 grams divided by the MR of iron oxide, that many moles. So the ratio between iron oxide and carbon dioxide is 1 to 3. So if we've got that many moles of iron oxide, we're going to get three times as many moles of CO2, which comes out at that number there. The mass of CO2, moles times MR, so it's that many grams. But the question wanted the answer in kilograms. So we divide by 1,000. And to three significant figures, it's 0 0.827 kilograms. There's the final question. So again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on for the answers. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is working out the moles of sodium chloride because we know we need to make 250 tonnes of it. Remember, we've got to work in grams here. So all I'm doing is putting the conversion to grams after the tonne value. So 250 times 10 to the 6 gives you the grams. Divide that by the MR. So we've got that many uh, moles. So in this question, we're going the opposite direction. So we're going to the left to get one of the reactant moles. So the ratio is two to one. So we're going to need half as many moles of sodium carbonate. 
So the moles of sodium chloride divided by two gives you that. So the mass of sodium carbonate needed is moles times MR. So it's that many grams, but the answer is required in tons. So we divide by a million and the three significant figures, it's 226 tons. Okay, so hopefully that all made sense and you feel like you're able to do those calculations now. So here's a summary of the steps. So step one, calculate the moles of the known substance. So that's obviously the, the one that you've got the mass for. Step two, you're going to apply the ratio between the known chemical and the unknown one to find the moles of the unknown. And the unknown chemical is obviously the one you asked about in the question. And then finally, you answer the question. And in all of the ones we've done today, the question was converting the moles to masses. And obviously, be careful about your final units because they don't always ask for the final answer to be in grams.